Hello. In this video, I am giving you a quick revision of the first session of watercolor. So for that, you need a watercolor sheet, watercolor cakes, or if you have tube watercolor tubes, you can also use that. A bowl of water or a cup of water, and a round brush. So here I am picking the round brush of size eight. Now, before starting, I just want to let you uh, know what watercolor is. So watercolor is the color pigment which mix with water for painting. Okay, This is a quite very old um, painting medium. And uh, usually it is started from the cave painting when uh, where our primitive uh, use this watercolor pigments from the nature, like by grinding the uh, some mineral stone, flowers, or some kind of grass. And they mix that color uh, pigment with water to create the watercolor. Watercolors are different from the acrylic because watercolor could be dissolved again with water once they dry. As you can see here, this is a dry watercolor cakes. We can dissolve them again. But in acrylic, once the color dry, you can't again uh, mix it with water. Okay. Now, to start this lesson, first we need to create few lines which is like horizontal and vertical. So this session is more about understanding how you need to hold your brush, how you need to move your brush according to the line, okay? And need to understand the consistency of water and its application. Now, first place your ruler like this in a horizontal manner, and we'll draw a line half face, not complete. Now leave some space and draw one more line. The reason of drawing this line so that you can move your brush according to this. Leave some space and draw more line below that. Leave more space. Then we'll draw one. So like this, we have drawn four lines each side. This is nothing to be specific. This is just for understanding the application of brush. I'm drawing vertical lines. And we leave this space as it is. Now, first, what you need to do Take a bowl of water, wash your brush nicely in that. Hmm. <laughs> Remove the excess of water by sliding your brush in the sideways. Take this wet brush and blend the color. We can use a separate palette for blending. Do not take much water, okay? You need to understand how much water you need to mix with color hmm? so that we can move our brush easily. If water is less, your brush can't able to move nicely in a flow. If it is more, then your line will spread too much. So this is, you need to understand how much water you need. Now, <clears throat> see how I'm holding my brush hmm? here from the middle part of the handle. Place your hand like this, touch the tip of your brush here on line, and then move it slightly. Follow the same process again. Only this much color needs to be spread. If you take too much water, it spreads more. If you take less water, <clears throat> you can't able to create this flow. And do not take much amount of color. Do not try to paint much dark. In watercolor, the color always create a lighter tone initially. And if we need a dark tone, we paint over it. 
कि वंस द फर्स्ट लेयर ड्राई नाउ वन मोर थिंग इज वॉटर कलर इज ट्रांसपेरेंट द वॉटर कलर दैट प्रेजेंट इज दैट वी कॉल दिस इज अ वॉटर कलर कलर दे आर ऑल्सो डिफरेंट कलर विच यूज विथ वॉटर बट स्पेशली द वॉटर कलर दैट वी टाइटल डेस इज अ ट्रांसपेरेंट मीडियम मीन्स एज यू कैन सी वेन वी अप्लाइड द कलर द लाइन्स दैट वी हैव ड्रॉन्स आर विजिबल बिहाइंड दैट if it is opaque you can't see this lines okay so that's the difference between transparent and opaque color hmm? so then idealistic water color are usually transparent now we need to create more lines so you just to paint all these lines and here i am showing you one more time how you need to do it okay hold your brush nicely with this two finger thumb over it place the tip of your brush over this line and just move it see i am not lifting up my brush do not lift up your brush till you end hmm? okay <clears throat> you need to complete this line in a one stroke okay you don't need to move your brush again and again at the same place to make that line so you will be practicing the remaining work after this we'll be drawing the vertical ones we can choose a different color so here i'm choosing the red which is like crimson red so reds are also of different type so here i'm choosing crimson red for this so you need to blend this color in your palette okay then to draw vertical line hold your brush in a similar manner and you just need to move from up to down place the tip of your brush over this line do not apply much pressure and just move it downward like this again i'm showing you that hold your brush like this very gently you need to move okay do not apply much pressure and it's done so follow the same process and complete all the vertical lines so this is more about understanding how you need to hold your brush how you need to move it okay and how much pressure you need to apply on your paper so on watercolor you don't need to apply the brush forcefully you need to be very soft and gentle in that application now after this we'll be drawing some wave lines so for that i'm using green color if you do not have color cake you can use your color tubes but do not take much amount of color from the tube okay take very small amount and then mix it with water in your palette now after this we we'll need to draw wave lines so see place the tip of your brush here and just move it like this so this is to understand the movement of your brush hmm how you can easily move your brush so if you apply your brush very lightly you can move it easily if you apply force on your paper it will be difficult for you to move your brush with that smoothness okay so keep your hand quite light do not apply pressure and i'm see how i'm just touching the tip of my brush and then we'll move it down see the bristle of my brush are not completely touching with that paper see only the half ways yeah so in that way you need to apply <clears throat> so 
so keep practicing um, painting these lines and with this we have completed to under with the sesh lesson of how you need to move your brush how you need to hold it hmm? now after this we'll be learning how you need to apply the paints on a block or on a particular area Now for this lesson, what you need to do, you need to create few blocks. So first I'm drawing a vertical line here in middle and I have placed my drawing book horizontally. Okay. You need to understand the placement. Then you draw a vertical line here in middle part. Okay. Then one more line in this section and one more line in this section. Then we'll draw two horizontal lines, one and one below that. Now in this, you'll be learning to paint this block so that you can understand how you need to paint a wider area. <clears throat> so first we'll start with primary color. So do you know what primary color is? So primary colors are those color which we can't make by mixing other colors, okay? This, uh, these are the real color pigments. Like, so the primary color are blue, yellow, and red. And you can't able to create this color by mixing any other color in your color palette. Hmm? So that's why we call them as primary color. So first I am choosing a blue color. Hmm? Okay. Now, <laughs> To paint this color block, what you need to do, clean your brush, hmm? dip it in your water and clean it. Now, you need to move this wet brush on this block. Okay. You're not using any color, we just need to move it with water. Hmm? The reason of doing it because, so that a paper absorbs some amount of water and when we apply the color, it will be, it will become easy for the color to spread hmm? because the water color is all about the water, how the color is spread according to the water along with the water. We do not restrict our color. Hmm? We let the color flow on the sheet. Okay. So that's why we have applied a layer of water before applying our paint. Now, after this, we'll apply the paint and see how it smoothly spreads. Now I'm <clears throat> applying one more color. Let's go for red. So first what we need to do, we need to apply a wet brush over this block. Then we'll blend our red color. And see how easily it is spread out. So this is the water color is all about. And one more thing, do not move your brush again and again on the same place. Hmm. Apply one more color, let's go with green. So the first layer of watercolor, as I discussed earlier, will be the light. Hmm? Once the color dry, we'll apply one more layer to make it dark. So this is how the process goes in the watercolor from light to dark. Okay. Now, here we have applied uh, only the one color. Now, after this, we'll be blending two colors together. So 
when we blend two colors, it gives us the secondary color. As I discussed, the primary color, which we can't create by mixing any two colors. Hmm? But for secondary, we mix two primary. Just like if you mix blue, which is a primary, and yellow, which is a primary, it will create the green color, which is secondary. Hmm? And just like you can mix a red and yellow to get orange and red and blue to get violet. So in this, we get three uh, secondary color, which is green, orange, and violet. Now, you'll be practicing to color this one color tone in all this remaining block. First, what we do, we'll apply a wet brush on this face. Okay, move it very gently. Do not apply much water. Hmm? And do not apply wet brush again and again on the same place. Otherwise, your paper will give grains. Now, first I'm taking this blue color. See how easily it is spread. Now after this, applying yellow color. First, let me make this paper quite wet. So here I'm taking this middle tone of yellow. This yellow is cadmium yellow for your information. So there are different types of yellow, just like I mentioned earlier, there are different types of red. So it's a different types of yellow. So this one is cadmium yellow. And above this is a chrome yellow. Start from a base part and we'll move our color upside like this. And when it gets blend with blue, it turn into green. We blend more blue in this. As the color tone is quite light, the effect of green appears to be quite lighter. When we increase the color tone, it will become quite deep. Just like this, you'll be practicing to blend more colors together. So here I'm giving you one more example. Okay, so let's blend uh, yellow and red together. So first I'm blending red. For that, apply a layer of water first. Take your red color. The first layer will be quite light, okay? <clears throat> now after this, take a yellow color. And we'll blend them together quite a bit in this section. We'll increase the tone. So you can find an orange, orange color tone in this part. So this is how the color blends together. 
So the blending two primary into a secondary. So this is just to understand the effect of color. So blend more colors together and let the color spread according to the water, but do not take too much of water. Hmm? Try to control your water quite a bit. Do not move your brush again and again at the same place. Hmm? <clears throat> and once the color dry, we'll apply more tones to make them quite intense or darker. So we'll continue with the same and learn a new artwork in our next session.